Hello guys, Mike here. <clears throat> Today I wanted to make a video on uh, these uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors here. Uh, we know that these are going to be uh, the capacitors here because they are uh, labeled with the C and then whatever number that corresponding uh, capacitor is I'll have that number after the C so you don't want to get it confused with like for example let's see that zoom out a little bit I don't know this is kind of blurry um, we have that one there which has an L that's not the same as this capacitor here it's still a capacitor but it's it's not as good as this capacitor here that you want to get the palladium out of so usually what I do is brown versus gray or don't pick off any L's because then you're gonna lose value on uh, all your capacitors so I guess that L there can also represent oh, where to go lose lose value so leave that alone um, I would probably take that off after I take off all the capacitors the, the C's that way I don't you know mix them I've seen a lot of videos where people just take an air chisel and completely take everything off the board I mean if that's what you want to do then that's you know your choice but I would assume that it would be really difficult if not impossible to pick out which one of these is a capacitor and which one is one of those L capacitors those L series capacitors like that one unless you know you pick the ones that are gray take them all out but there's some capacitors that kind of look gray also uh, let's see if I can find one here on my other boards that I brought for an example so for example here uh, these two capacitors down here they look gray compared to these brown ones or light browner ones so you would probably look at that if you were just going by color when you were sorting out all your capacitors after you used your um, air chisel or whatever to take them all off you probably leave those off out of the a bunch so um, I would suggest just taking off the brown ones with your screwdriver take them off real quick with your screwdriver it doesn't take that long you just get a regular flathead stick it in there give it a little turn and they come off and I I would I would think that would save a lot more time than actually just taking everything off and then having to sort all that out and there's some two nice tantalum capacitors there so usually what I'll do is take off my tantalums and then I'll take off these monolithic ceramic capacitors the ones with the C's not the L's or the CA's or anything like that just just straight C and then a number alright I think that's a little better all right, so just twist it and usually what I'll do I'll just do a bunch that I can see or that I know that they're the, um, the ones that I'm looking for you can just bam easy if you have a uh, time to do this of course because you know it's, some people don't like to sit here and pick each one at a time. Uh, let's see, there's two more. Uh, there's some little ones here. It's kind of hard to record. I'm like behind the camera with my hands between it, I'm trying to pick some of these off. All right, so then once I get a certain amount. Or I'm done with that side. I'll just dump them. Let's see if I can zoom out. I'll just get one of these 
and it's clean all that is dust at the bottom there from picking them off and then I'll just dump it straight in there that way I don't lose any oh, I'd lost two here uh, oh lost one so anyways that's about how I do it and then uh, let's put these tantalums um, I missed a few here here's one here's another kinda hard to see from behind the camera but alright that one fell apart and that happens a lot there's another I think that's it here's another tantalum black one Take that off. And the black little bucket that I made for it. Alright, and then sometimes you have some around chips. These I am not completely sure if they're um, the ones that I'm looking for. They do have uh, CA, so it is a capacitor, and then the other one has BA. So I'm assuming these are all capacitors as well, but I'm not going to put those in the same um, pile. This one's just to see with the number. And then that's a B, so I don't want to get that one. Here's a C, 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 C. And then same on the other side, C, C. And C. Where can you find these at? Uh, you can find them on motherboards, computers. There's usually going to be some rows and some inside where the chip goes. And then you'll have some more along the uh, the RAM where the RAM sticks go. Uh, you'll have some isolated ones here and there throughout the board. And of course, nothing on the back. Uh, let's see. Here's like a server type of board. Um, these have some too. And uh, that's, I think, you yeah, know, this one doesn't have that many, just between here. So that one's not that populated. Oh, and this one, it was from TVs. So yeah, this one goes on the TV, flat screens. Here's another one of those. You could sell these, you could resell these, but uh, when I first started scrapping, I, I would get every board that I had and just throw it in a big bin. So I'm pretty sure some of them are missing some capacitors here and there, so they're not um, resale value. So I guess I'll just pick off the capacitors off of it, so. See here, these are all C's. Alright, so this is that same board that had that L one. We're not going to take that one off, so we're going to start off by taking the ones. Oh, that one flew. It flew into the other bucket, so it's good. We're going to start off with the ones around that one, so that way we don't come back to it. We'll just, you know, know where we started and work our way around that one. And then all the other ones you can check. Alright, yeah, they all have the C. So you can just speed it up a little. We got a few there, so I'm gonna dump it. Let's see that one. That one looks gray and it doesn't have a number a number or anything, so I'm just gonna leave that one there. It doesn't have a C or an L. So I'm not gonna touch it. And so I'm pretty sure the buyers that buy this can tell the difference if it's mixed up or if it's just all straight 
monolithic capacitors. All right. Here's another one I missed. All right. Uh, see, I'm leaving this gray one here because it doesn't have a, a code or anything. All right, another bad thing here is here you can notice that these look brown, right? But there's no markings to say if it's a C or an L, but just by telling by the color, you can tell that they're going to be the monolithic ceramic ones and not the L ones, not the L series ones. So I would pick these off and put them with my brown ones. See, so yeah, pick them off. They look exactly the same. See, they're basically the same. Okay. All right, so what else? Make sure that you're taking the time to uh, look and make sure that it is a monolithic ceramic capacitor and not just start um, destroying the board uh, just because you see little squares and assume that they all are going to be the same value and they're not so for example here some more C's um, here, prime example here, somebody would probably just take all the three of these off. Here's another example here. See there's two in a row and then that that uh, third one there is an L. It's backwards. It's an L. So you, people would just take all that off and not know that that last one is going to devalue your your stash. So yeah guys, just pick off the ones with the C's. Just those. You can see you can see that they're brown and they vary in color like these two here. One's light brown, one's a little darker. Same here. These are uh the same ones, they're just not labeled, but you can tell by the color there. Um so yeah guys, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to share that with you um, just because I've seen a lot of videos where you know they just air chisel it take everything off and uh, I was just wondering like how would you even you know start to sort these out if not by color then I mean I don't know but anyways thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.